Hello everybody and welcome to the Simple Cooking with Heart Kitchen. I'm Chef Stephanie Rose, executive, executive chef of the American Heart Association Kitchen here. And I am here today cooking with Dr. Seth Martin of Johns Hopkins Medicine. And I'm very delighted to be cooking with you again and uh, cooking you likewise. like we cooked before and right. now we're cooking and we're going to be cooking again October 8th at the Maryland Baltimore Heart Walk. So we are really looking forward to seeing everybody down yeah. there. And yeah. I think I get to meet somebody special yeah. in your life. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, my whole family, but particularly my son, who's gonna come up and cook with us on stage. So looking forward to seeing everyone at Heart Walk. I have my Heart Walk coach shirt on I right saw now. That. Super pumped. I've been doing Heart Walk since I was very young. So Have you really? Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, so I, 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 we will be there. We are doing another wonderful recipe. Um, but today, we also have a fabulous recipe for you. Uh, we're doing Algerian meatballs uh, with chickpeas. So you've got the turkey, turkey meatballs, which are much healthier for you. And then we're mixing it up with some fabulous exotic spices uh, and the chickpeas. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, growing up, uh, when I used to see the chickpeas laying out yeah. in the... Uh, you know the salad bar. I uh, would definitely skip over it. Uh, yeah. Did, come yeah. on, you, you skipped I, over yeah, it too, to, right? To be honest, yeah. It's like, yeah. What? But, but, <laughs> and, but and, they have so many uses. Uh, you can, I know, but and, I, I don't know what it yeah. is, but maybe it was just because they were sitting there yeah. bland, bland. You with nothing on right, them. No, right. of course, who, you may you may not even know what they are. Yeah, no. when you look at them. But now, now yeah, I have a completely right. you know elevated view of them. Right. I didn't realize they were so healthy for you. Yeah. And really it's all about, you know, flavoring them, you know, what you're mixing them with yeah. in, right. in addition to salad dressing. Right. right. And I discovered I liked them when I had them in a stew, in a North African stew. Hmm. So um, that changed my whole taste buds. And we've got some really cool spices in this one. We've got uh, turmeric, which I mean, it historically has some amazing health benefits, right? I mean, people are popping, you know, turmeric pills right. for, for right. health benefits. Right, right. And, and, and I don't know about those pills, but when you, <laughs> when you bring them into your food and you, you, know, you get that variety of spices, and, and when you bring those spices in, you're flavoring it with something other than salt, even though some, right. some salt is okay, but when you're naturally reducing the amount of salt, that's good from a heart health diet standpoint. Absolutely. But cer certainly, you know, it's tough to sort of test all the, the benefits of these spices, that, but, but certainly there's a, the evidence has accumulated around anti-inflammatory right. right. effects of turmeric and so forth. So long it's a great, time. great spice to be cooking with. And long, long, I mean, all of the yeah. spices uh, yeah. originally, they, they kind of came out as, you know, with medicinal right. benefits. Right. That's how they were selling right. them, you know? Right. Not to mention it's going to taste your, make your nasty yeah. food taste better, you know, yeah. your gruel. But so we also have cumin, which is a you know classic, and hopefully you all have cumin in your pantry. And if you don't have turmeric in your pantry, go ahead and get some. Um, but I, I, I want to get started, so we're not here all night, and I think we're all hungry. Um, so we are going to go ahead Let's by by learning quickly. I know you probably remember how we hold our knives here, right. which we try to do the safest way, and it's the pinching the blade technique. So I have. Um, my thumb all the way on the blade actually but at the end towards the handle and my pointer finger is on the other side just you're sort of straddling it and I mean you're pinching it and got it good and then your mm -hmm. other three fingers go around the handle and there you and there you have it so this is the safest way I know a lot of people end up putting their finger on here but sometimes you, you know weevils wobble and your finger could call, fall off and mm -hmm. it's a little bit more dangerous. Right. Not As to mention your finger starts to hurt. Right. So we're gonna get Safe, started. Safety first. That's Absolutely. My, my son will say that. With oh, <laughs> he's saying that already. Yeah, you already got him in the kitchen working, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, we're gonna chop up an onion, and um, always when you're dealing with something that you know, speaking of wobbly and rolling around, the first thing you want to do is to stabilize it. Mm -hmm. So I do that. We're just gonna cut off this one end. This string in okay and just cut a little bit off hopefully with a sharp knife oh hello see it's already rolling away fast i think i might need a little bowl to put our trash in 
get one down here. Always forget about the good old trash. Here, that's trash, trash bag, trash bowl right there. So now it's manageable, much easier. And then I straddle it with my hand, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to cut it in half. Right down the half. So right you put down. it on the flat side, and then we're cutting it in half. Yeah, okay. so uh, much safer. And then I find when it's cut, mm -hmm. then it's a lot easier to take this mm -hmm. papery peel off. Right. Got to get that off. And we want to work quickly, right? Because I'm not wearing Work. waterproof mascara. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone has, a, they all, everyone has a technique of, oh, well, you, you know, put a put a mask on, you know, or put a wet towel around uh -huh. your neck. Have you heard that one? No, I haven't heard that Actually, one. There are a lot of old old wives' tales, <laughs> right? There's there's one thing and one thing only, and that's just work quickly, okay? Uh, and when you after you cut it, it does help to cover it up. Mm -hmm. Did so you? the fumes aren't still coming out and getting in your eyes. I see. After you've diced it, that's what I mean. I don't want to get too far ahead. Yeah. You cut off this bottom piece. No. Oh, no. Nope. Just if you this we need. We need this when we're doing a dice. Okay. If I was just slicing it in, in strips, right. then I would go ahead and cut that off and just go boom boom boom. But this keeping this on helps mm -hmm. to keep all of the petals together. Okay. So we can get a nice, easy dice. Got it. And fast dice. So, All right. but I'm, with my other hand, I do try to kind of hold it a little bit under, but hold it on and I will, I'm gonna cut, pretend there's like a wall here. Okay. You don't wanna go past that. We don't wanna cut all the way through, but we do wanna cut down to the cutting board and cut as thin, thinly as you can. And then that'll kind of dictate the size of your dice. And then straddle so it. Just, you know, as creating these. So you're comfortable. Right. Okay, then there you go. You got it. We're keeping it all together. Yeah, see this, and then it's kind of mm -hmm. a kind of fan it a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. That's that's what you want. Perfect. And now turn it and then just cut also. Thin through it as, until as, until you're you know comfortable. You can mm -hmm. cut that a little bit, throw that out, and then you might just need to cut that one a little bit more. And then I usually just use my knife as the transport vehicle and get it into the bowl, back into the bowl. All right. You think I think you got it, my George. Mm -hmm. What do you do with the end piece here? I eat it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you just throw it in there. Well, let me cut yeah. a little bit more and help bit more. you out. Yeah, you can um, go back into it mm -hmm. if you need to. Give you a little bit more onion. I happen to love onion, mm -hmm. and this was kind of a small onion. Right. So I don't I want see. to deprive you of your onion. Right. There we go. I'm going to bring me, make me bring me your bowl. And I'll just... Thank you. Oftentimes, Thank you, I will have a stock going uh -huh. on my stove at home, mm -hmm. and I throw everything into it. I see. So any you know bones uh, from a whole turkey that I or a whole chicken that I've roasted the day before. Right. Um, save everything. If you open up, it's scary when you open up my freezer. Don't say anything, peanut right. gallery. Uh, I've got bones from every you know uh -huh. the steaks and still you know, falling uh -huh. out. But you can and you can keep a stock uh -huh. going on. Uh -huh. There's so many things, mushroom stems uh -huh. going in, and everybody says, oh well maybe not everybody. The skins, don't put, put, put everything. Right. Just don't put in Just, potatoes. Okay. You know? <laughs> Otherwise. Don't, yeah, don't put yeah. in a starchy. Right. And that yeah, way things don't your go stock. to waste. If I'm making paella, I'll put in the, the scraps from the red pepper. Mm -hmm. So, you know, put in a little bit of carrot, you know, but not too much. It makes it too sweet. So scraps are wonderful if you've got the hand of it. My door, yeah, she's, getting, she's, getting she's got the hand of it. There we go. See that that little end piece? I kind of straddled it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, we, we're doing this recipe just a tad different than the directions. Say to saute the onions first, and blah blah blah. But we're we're gonna do you, it later. You streamlined because, it, right? Yeah, we're we're streamlining it. You, if you 
we, we, we know how to we know how to we cook. Can, we can feel free to mix it up as long as exactly it, end result is is there right right. right. Yeah. So those are beautiful. Um, if you're making you cry, then move them as far away as you can, <laughs> or or cover them up with something else. So, but hopefully I'll be fine. Now we're gonna we, we need a lot of garlic. Okay. And where's your garlic? Where's my garlic? Oh my gosh. Can where's I your garlic? Do I, am I sharing Maybe yours or I need my own? He has no garlic. Okay. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's hiding all the way in the corner. Oh, it's in the corner. Give me mine back. Yeah. Six okay. six cloves of garlic. Could it possibly? You don't have to use all of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, some are big, some are not. Okay. Now I know this is a lot to chop up, but um, if you don't want to chop up all this garlic, we're happy to get you a garlic press. Mm -hmm. I'm not judging anybody. I've actually gotten used to use, I like using a garlic press, but uh -huh. most of the time I don't. Uh -huh. um, but let's just do this by hand because okay. we're experts. I do find it easier to cut that little that mm -hmm. tiny little that dried up nub part off. Yep. So lay it flat and just cut that nubby part off of all of them. Okay. First, garlic. We love garlic because it is the bulb of life. I think we had garlic in our last recipe we did together. And I probably told you the little uh, trick that it's got to rest. It's got to sit after you, after you mm -hmm. chop it up before mm -hmm. you cook it. Mm -hmm which I thought was a very interesting little tid tidbit of knowledge. Who knew? There's so, so much, so many benefits. And then when you chop it up, you get even more benefits. So, wow, mind blowing. Okay, uh, so now I, have I lay it down on a flat side. Right. And then I'm gonna put my knife on top of it. Yep. You blade pointing away. Pointing away. And I come down. I don't. I don't push. Right. But if you can't do the coming down, you can just push on it. And this really helps facilitate getting all of the paper. Oh, you're you're fast. You're doing. Off. I've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you you okay. know if you're doing a whole ton of of garlic, and you don't want it smashed a little bit an easy way to do it if you're peeling it and you need perfect little garlic cloves mm -hmm. do it in a, a, a bowl of water okay if you need to do a whole head of garlic for some unknown reason uh -huh. for making paella or lots of, of or lots of uh meatballs for a whole you know gag mm -hmm. gaggle of family the water helps so Help, this it helps, helps get the skin this. off okay you the know stickiness. the stickiness it is very sticky and yeah, yeah it the, the paper flying all over the place, which can be really annoying. Yes, I had to do many um, years this, of This lots. is where I'm glad to have this towel. Right, lots of, lots of garlic and yeah. the sticky hands. So just that little, doing it in warm water helps tremendously. I'm making some progress here. You're done you already? Go. Okay. Well, now I gotta start Almost. chopping. All right. Um, start chopping. I'll finish up there. there. You're good. You do, you do, you do. Yep. See, I'm having I'm having paper problem here. <laughs> I need to just rinse my hands or get a wet uh -huh. paper towel. Yeah. Do you want me to wet this towel? Sure. Okay. Yeah, that'd be Maybe that'd be I great. can get one of my lovely assistants to give me a wet towel. The wet towel trick. Mm -hmm. So, don't don't Thank be you. don't be afraid. Thank you, darling. Appreciate it. There we go. We can share this right. Thank you very much. Now dry it off well because you don't want also safety. I'll keep it on the. You don't want right slippery on your handle. That is also dangerous. All right. Okay, so now I do change my grip a little bit when okay. I'm when I'm chopping yeah. things up. I, I move my hand back, and and I'm yeah. kind of more relaxed. More and relaxed. And then my left yeah. hand. Make it nice and flat, but I see you're doing that. That's fine too, as well. Oh, always. I see you have the fingers right there. That works, yeah. And then you just, you sort of just sort of get it back together. Zen out. You're chopping it and you're sweeping, making it behave. Up, oh, and there's some, there's some skin. Goodbye, goodbye. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
you. All right, you got it, you got it. How small do we want it here? Until we're tired of doing it. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> You know, I know a lot of people do have trouble with garlic, but you can totally buy yeah. it already minced up. Yeah. And that is perfectly fine. No, no judging. I just personally don't. You can still, and you still get the nutritional benefits out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, the only time you won't get nutritional benefits from the garlic is if you're using garlic powder, powder. or gar garlic salt. Uh. That's a big no-no. Has zero nutritional value. Now, carefully, I don't, when you're wiping it off, be very careful. So that's probably a nice, you did great, look at you. See, Thank you. you're ahead of me and everything. All right, so we've got our garlic. Now we are gonna be using this, we're gonna split it up. So try to remember, oh, okay, dump out your, what the garlic was in, just dump that out and put okay. your chopped up garlic in there. Okay. Yeah, you got a, you got a special little tagine thing. Okay, and I need that. That wet tail back. We're just gonna wipe wipe this off from this stickiness. Here you go, Thank chef. Thank you. Appreciate it. I like teamwork. Wipe that off. You want to wipe your knife off. And I, you know, there's not a lot of chopping up to do. Yeah. We've got that. Um, we're gonna be chopping up some parsley. Mm -hmm. We can chop it up now. We can chop it up later. Um, it's up to you. Actually, I think I want to follow your follow your lead. I want to get our, our meatballs okay. working. So we've got our. You should have a little spatula over there. I have it right all here. All right. Okay. So we're going to start adding all of our ingredients to our meatballs. Um, that means half of the half of our garlic. Half of the garlic. And it's okay if I'm touching it because everything's going to be cooked here. You okay. say, oh my gosh, you're cross contaminated. It's fine. That's. Half the garlic. All right. Okay, we have an egg. So you should have a little egg with your little whiskey thing. Need mini whisks, crack our little eggs. More trash, there we go. Of course, you could just dump it in and, and, and whisk it a little bit in here. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to over mix my turkey meatball mix. There we go. Good enough. Whisk in the egg here. Okay. I love these little mini. I get more use out of these little mini whisks than just a, <laughs> than a lot of my tools. And then, okay, so we got the egg, and then we have a teaspoon of cumin. Okay. Which we have in front of you in your little your little mini tagine. Let's go ahead and dump that in here. Voila. All and right. then we have the turmeric that we love. Mm -hmm. that we know yeah. has some amazing beneficial um, properties to it. So go ahead and put that just in. Dump that right on top of the cumin, okay. Yeah, and I just wanted to show you just real quick. Well, look, check this out. Do you know what that is? Isn't this <laughs> wild looking? Look, is, is that, look at this. Is that tumor? It's growing. Uh -huh, the gr yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I left it in the uh -huh. dark at home and it just started sprouting. Uh -huh. This is... Turmeric, so you can crack it open, you'll see. Cut it open with a knife? No, yeah, we just break it open. Oh, just yeah, break it open. just break it open. Oh yeah, look, look at, at that, that color. That Isn't that, it's incredible. The orange color. Orange color. Mm. Yeah, when it's, I, can you smell it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it smells a little different than, I guess the. Mm. But it's fresh. I mean, yeah, I, I can smell it though, fresh, yeah. yeah. But so if you're gonna yeah. be working with fresh turmeric at home, wear gloves. <laughs> Use an orange cutting board uh -huh. and, you uh -huh. know, wear all black because it, yeah. it, it, it stains and it makes a big old mess. So, yeah, you could just, I just thought That's cool. it sprouted. Yeah. Now, if I can continue to keep it, maybe I'll give you one to take home and see if you have, right. you have put luck. It, put it to use or uh, grow it or somehow. Grow it. Yeah. I've tried to figure it out. So you put it in like a thing with a little water and. It, I tried it with water. It didn't work. It didn't work. Just like it just. You know, when you, when you have rhizomes, which uh -huh. is what these are, they don't like being low and I, uh -huh. like dark, maybe in a little bit of dirt. Right. See what happens. <laughs> then let me know. Okay. Keep me, keep me keep posted, me posted on that. that. I'll let you know at the heart walk. But, okay. Yeah, Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. That might be a good right. project for, for you with your, with your son. So we get a little bit of salt. Okay. Okay. Typically, 
our our standard is about an eighth of a teaspoon because we yeah. we're cooking from from scratch. This is all fresh ingredients, so there's no no processed yeah salty helps helps bring the flavors together. You know, what, I think one thing that's in bit. interesting is that most of the salt in our diets in, in this country are not from cooking, it's from processed foods or from that's eating right. out. And so when we add a little in our cooking, that's it's not a problem. So really cutting back on yeah. eating out is very important. You know, the calories are gonna and then your sodium is un incredible. Okay. Now we, um, there are uh, alternatives to um, to meat products that you could possibly use to make. We were talking about this right. earlier to make um, to make the meatballs, which is not really meat, mm -hmm. so fake meat or whatever. It is. <laughs> um, but but if, neither you or I was too thrilled about that. Well, option. I, I, I'm afraid that the sodium level. I mean, again, yeah. it's it's a processed product. Right. So when you look and, at it, and right. it's got all of the sodium right yeah we right. can easily go above the ha recommended levels of two grams in a sodium in a and day. what else did it have it had, it had a lot of the, saturated the, the fat saturated you gotta be fat. careful with that saturated fat yeah so um we want the unsaturated healthy fats that's why we're cooking today in the olive oil and some extra which is the best one right mm -hmm. so i think we got according to my cheat sheet we've got the the garlic in it the egg the cumin the turmeric and the salt and pepper Hey, hey, so let me have some more pepper. I like pepper. <laughs> and we, we've, got, we've got more spices that we're gonna be adding later when we're cooking them mm -hmm. with the, the chickpeas. You want some more of that? All right. Of course, of course. Now it's supposed to be a little bit wet, okay? If you think this, the mixture is wet, it is wet and that's okay. Fully to be expected, got it. Fold, yeah, fold everything in too. You want it well mixed, but then you don't want to mix it too much. And I mean, the other thing I love, that these turkey often, turkey, chicken, meatballs, the last the ones I've had it usually can be kind of dry. So the way this one is cooked, I think really helps mm -hmm. so it doesn't become dry. So there we go, there are some nice, nice meatball mix. And then we have our handy dandy little, little trays. Go. You have yours, but okay. I'll, I'll get them. Oh. <laughs> we each have our two little Here trays. We there we go. All right. Now, if you need them closer to you, uh, you know what? I do want to. I knew. I knew there was something. I want a little parsley okay. in my meatballs. What do you think? Sounds I good. I don't think that there can be too much parsley. So grab some of your parsley. Oh boy, I'm not going to knock it over. I knew there was a reason I wanted to chop up the parsley. I usually use Italian parsley just because I think it tastes better than curly parsley. But if you can't find it, then that's all right. Use whatever parsley you can find <laughs> because parsley has incredible benefits as well. I think there's more vitamin C in parsley than in citrus. Wow. But you do need to pull off the, um, it's not like cilantro. You can't. Right. You know, you don't want to eat the stems. The stems. They're okay. a little bit woody. So how far down do you go? Is that good or take even that? You could take off more. Even more. Taste it. Yeah. If you like chewy and woody, then you know, <laughs> fine. Keep, keep it in. Uh -huh. It's going to add some fiber and some texture, uh -huh. right? <laughs> right. And we're adding some nice color too here. With add some nice color. We're just going to add a little bit and then we're going to chop up the rest of it and throw it on. This is just... Yeah, all of this is really good stuff, except the eggshells. The eggshells you don't want to put in your in your stock pot. Okay, that doesn't go. That can go in your compost. I've heard eggshells are really good, but then I heard you have to like wash out the protein or something. Mm -hmm. It's hard to keep up with some of this stuff. So you pull off all of this. I don't know if y'all saw how I store the storage of fresh herbs is very important. So if you're gonna go out and make the effort to buy fresh herbs, you really want them to last um, and not sit in the bottom of that drawer of your refrigerator getting all slimy. Um, and really, if it's stored properly, it can last weeks. Oh. I have had parsley uh -huh. last a couple of weeks in my uh -huh. refrigerator. Uh -huh. 
So where do you store it in your refrigerator? Uh, I, what I do is um, when it comes, I cut off the bottom. This, so you can see how it's in a, in a glass with water. Okay. I'll cut the bottom off and then usually keep it, keep it in a bunch and then I'll um, put it in a jar of water or a mason jar and then I, have, I give it a, a plastic bag I put around it so it has this greenhouse effect. You know, and it's okay if some of the air comes out and then I just mm -hmm. push it anywhere in the refrigerator where uh -huh. it'll fit. But uh -huh. be careful not to put it all the way in the back because you don't want it to freeze. Okay. So it two weeks. I mint. Uh huh. Holy cow! I think mint wow. will last forever. Wow. Um, so you put the mint in the water, like you've done, like you've done with the, the parsley. Cut the stems off. Yeah. Just a little bit at the bottom. Okay. You know, depending on how how high your glass is or yeah. or your jar. So yeah, we mm -hmm. just we cut off the bottom. Okay. And then I the plastic wow. bag that you that it comes in in the grocery store, which yeah. we, which we hate. Well, but we can reuse it. And put it in the bag, and then tie, tie it a little. Top. And that way too, if you knock it over, it doesn't. The water doesn't spill all over the place. What? Because that's another, I have, that's, another that's, that's funny you should mention that. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my herbs have been knocked uh -huh. over many times. Uh -huh. um, I, I'm not going to name names, but uh -huh. um, yeah, husband, wow. <laughs> husband. Um, yeah. So there's water. It helps a little bit, but uh -huh. yeah, yeah, it's not going to. Fully, fully solve that issue. Yeah. No. But wow, right. that really extends the life of the herbs. That, that's awesome. So that's what I usually do just to make a quick chop is okay. I am just going to mush. mush. Mush them together. Mush it all up. Mush them, mush them. Mush them, mush them. Am I running out of bowls here? I think I am. Holy cow. Might need a bowl for some, a couple bowls for our parsley. Por favor. Yeah, watch your other hand. I know I get a little wild. It should. Be. It doesn't have to be perfectly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We want a bowl because I'm not going to put it all in. There we go. There you go. You got it. Got it. Shoot. Expert. Going back over it. Uh oh. Hello. Going wild here in the kitchen. Just don't want to break anything. Yeah, I like it chunky. I like it a little bit. You know. Rock and roll, mm -hmm. and then we could save the rest for later. I just put in like a tablespoon. Okay. Yeah, save the rest. We're just gonna dump the rest of it on top at the end, okay? So there's just a little bit in here to can give I, us a little bit of color. Can I combine the rest with your bowl? No, oh, here. Oh, here. Here, I got your bed. I got you, I got you. Right. Stir that in, and you'll see it'll just look prettier. Okay. You know, just add an extra step. Go figure. Could I possibly follow a recipe exactly <laughs> as it's written? I don't know. I'm trying. I'm, I, I work on that on a daily basis. Okay. There we go. Now we can, now we can get some action here with our there, with our little um, ice cream scooper or whatever they're called. Here we go. You have one over there? Yeah, I have you got it. it. Now, if you don't have one of these and you only have your hands at home, it does help to get your hand, have that little dish of water. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't stick to you. So, but hopefully we won't need one because I think this works great. And then just go like that, boom. And it's a perfect little, perfect little size. I probably don't even really need to even touch mm -hmm. it. I could just go like I see. that. So you push it against the side there, and then yeah, you, and then push you go it like... the side. Or I did it in my hand. Okay. Um, but if you really don't want to touch it. The meatballs, they're going to be a little wonky looking anyway. Uh huh. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle, right? They're it's, all right. it's more they're... interesting anyway when things are a little bit off. A little bit. They'll taste the same. Yeah. More interesting to the eye. There's no such thing as perfect to me. Mm -hmm. We all have one eye bigger than the other, right? So yeah. we're supposed to get, what, 24? Something like that. So I love this. When you're making a lot, you can really, you can really this jam. Is, this is quick. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I bet, I bet your son would love doing this, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, give me that. Fun, fun, it's like a toy to play with. It is. Sometimes, you know, kids just want something like this to play with and not plastic. Real, a real tool. I'm getting up on the end of mine here. Uh oh, well look at you, Mr. Speedy. 
<laughs> he's beat, he's beat like, me there. All right. All right. I mean, all right. Here we them, go. I mean, some of them might be on the bigger side. I ended up with uh, That's all right. eight and seven over here. That's our count. Yours are more professional chefs. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, yours look just, just fine. Oh, mine, are, mine are wonky. I think you have... Mine are wonky, uh -huh. some parts. Okay, there we go. So, right. So we can actually get rid of all of this stuff. I think I'm going to keep this. Beautiful. I think we're going to need to wash our hands. Okay. Before we begin our next... Um, next set, so over here, wash your hands, wash your hands, chicken, 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 or turkey, 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 wash your hands. How long do you wash your hands when you're getting ready for uh, surgery? For surgery? Yeah. Uh, for a long time, yeah, yeah, we do some washing and double, some double washing, but I'm a preventive cardiologist these days, so the surgeries were something more I did as part of uh, training and these days uh, I'm kind of going upstream of the surgeries trying to prevent prevent people from needing a surgery in the first place you know so we're it's about oh. the healthy diet the healthy right. lifestyle preventive medicines to control cholesterol and blood pressure so that we can hopefully avoid surgery as much as possible so so yeah I don't these days I'm not doing too much but when they when you do it it's, okay. it's a big scrub you know yeah. all, all, of, right. all the way up yeah yeah do you sing a song? I, I don't think people would want to hear me singing a song. <laughs> We're, we, we usually say it's um, the length of happy birthday. Uh-huh. Okay. So. Do you do it in your head? Uh, you, it's I it's it such, such so much a habit that you, <laughs> you don't need to. I, don't, I, I yeah. haven't been doing it, but when I teach it, that's what I tell them to do. Uh-huh. So. All right. So we're going to okay. get our pans, and we're going to start um, migrating over to the stove so we can get this get this right. party started all right so it's me over here oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah right here and we've got some olive oil and and water so you're you've got some olive oil or you can share mine okay so you've got a nice power burner so you're gonna have to be be careful not to um get it too hot i think you only need yeah, yeah, there you go. Which one is it? It's hard to tell. These things r they rub off. Uh-huh. So you're down on a level, mid, a mid-level. But my, my going, height oh. is going to be different than yours. I you, see. Yours is a hotter. Hotter. I see. You can see because oh, that yeah. is a wider. I see. That's so, one way of telling so you, the size of the burner I itself. see. Yep. Yeah. So, so you want, should I go down to a little go lower down. level? Yeah, go down. Okay. Right around right a here. five. Perfect. Let's okay. try that. All right. How much olive oil do we want? I just think we get a, a tablespoon, teaspoon. All right, just get it coated. Get the two. We get to um, no a tablespoon. We definitely add at least a tablespoon because remember we didn't do our we didn't do our onions. So we're okay. gonna go ahead. Oh, we're gonna wait on those. We're gonna do our our meatballs. So two two teaspoons. It's fine. Okay, here are these. I'm just moving the pan around to try to get so this spread out. That's good. Okay. Can I hand this to you? Yeah, sure. And you're going to need a, uh, yeah, measuring really precisely, some tongs. Okay. Yeah, you put those over there. Hopefully that'll be all right. I've got tongs. Tongs. Here you go. I'll get Thank yours. You. And a little fish spatula so we can turn them. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Let this potty get started. Oh, you got yours? We're armed. <laughs> I love these. I love these, the silicone uh -huh. top ones. You so. find them easier to use? I do. Yeah. And, and they're, they're much better on the nonstick. I see. So actually, for this, we do want our oil to be kind of hot. So yeah, and go ahead and go crank, up a crank bit. it up. Because we're really just trying yeah. to get a little bit of color. Okay. Crank it up, crank it up. There we go. And we don't need it to get to smoking. Uh -huh. So um, the easiest way to tell, how you tell when your oil's ready? 
when it when it seems to spread around easily, yeah. it's kind of thin. Yeah, but not smoking like you said, but just it's now I move it and it just slides side to side really easily. How about you, Sarah? It usually starts to migrate to the outside. Okay. Oh, I see. Interesting. It starts moving. Look, see, yeah. just did, when you yeah. moved it around, it just yeah. automatically started right. to. It's all, yeah, it's creating that ring, ring the around you, the pan. The more you play with it and move it around, yeah. you're lowering the temperature. Mm -hmm. You're agitating it. And yeah, it will move out. And then it starts to get a little bit of a, a shine, a little mm -hmm. shimmer, mm -hmm. shimmer, shimmer. Mm -hmm. Almost like when you threw a stone on a lake. The rippling, uh -huh. so it's not quite ready yet. Okay. Because when you put a cold, cold meat into the pan, that's going to bring down the temperature quite a bit. Ah, uh, I see. So you can want to get it ready before we put it in. I can smell it. Yeah, you start to smell I it. Can, I can smell the olive mm -hmm. oil. Mm-hmm. Me smells, too. It smells Me good. Too. Yeah, it smells good. It smells really good. So we can start with one and see how it likes the pan. Okay. We wanna hear, we wanna hear something. You got it. You got the ticket, yes. Uh-huh. Because it's a higher heat. No, it's, it's non-stick, so it should be okay. That's good. You, if you have a smaller pan, you can do this in a couple of batches. Okay. Because like I said, you do kind of want it hot because you want some color. You see what I mean? Like, yeah. But what a difference, right? Right. Now, my, These is it, burners. Should I, go do, ahead, should I it turn it in. down a little bit or I'm doing put okay? Put them all in. All right. Well, it's Don't nice that we have the teamwork going here side put by side. We get twice as much done here. Don't be afraid. And I'll check on them for you. Thank you. Yeah. Because mine aren't doing anything. <laughs> You're having all the fun. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, now you can see what I mean. That's what we're talking about. Let's, let me just move this second thing in. All right. All right. Mine are all in. All right, there now you... Go. Now I'm going to turn you down a okay? tad. Okay. Down and to like the mid-level now on the big burner. Turning them a little bit to see how they that, look. That yeah, one's already a color. little brown, yeah. Yeah, I got some color. The ones that you put in first, see if you can turn them on. So I'm done with this. And I turn can them on to one to... side or another. Okay. Oh, so you'll I use, find it you'll, easier you'll to, use turn it. to turn yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. This is sometimes good to take out things that, that where the oil is involved. Yep. Like a, it's our version of a slotted spoon. There we go. And then we're just, when they're, and they're not going to be cooked all the way through, which is fine. Well, we like the color. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice color. Right. Very nice color. Pretty, 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 pretty. Now we want that color. We want that because it adds flavor. So this is all part of mm -hmm. building the layer of flavor. A little, I see. little caramelizing, right? I see. And it's also a nice color because of the turmeric, which I used to always say turmeric. Uh-huh. I think I was saying that too, but it's really turmeric, huh? I know. Then I kept hearing, why are people saying turmeric? Uh -huh. what, what are they talking right. about? <laughs> then I realized I'm the one saying it wrong. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. I love it when that happens. Don't know everything. Yeah, and it's clearly an R there. Mm-hmm. So once, if you're happy with the color on all sides, then you can take them out. I'll just go ahead and cook them a little they're, bit more. They're getting there. Yeah, they don't need to be cooked all the way through. Okay. Oh, I see. Because we are going to be putting them back in. I so see. So just get the color where we want really, it. Really? Yeah. And this, then we're this, going back into the pan yeah, here. Yeah, it's okay because we're going to be cooking okay. them some more. All right. Normally I'd get it swapping out, we'd yep. get a whole different pan, but I don't think that's necessary. I'm almost tempted just to throw in the onions, like right now. Mm -hmm. I'll follow your lead, whatever, whatever you say, Chef. 
Okay. And I'm going to get your onion. All right. Yeah, don't uh, handle them gently because we don't want them falling apart. You play with your food. Oh my God, I don't know what's on here, but there you go. So they're they're holding together. Mm -hmm. Now, I did I did think it would be really interesting to make this dish instead of using um, an alternative meat. It would right. be fun to make a zucchini yeah. kind of meatball. Right. So I did right. I did look that up and it does exist. Um, but that's a whole did I feel like I'm okay. You're no. okay, good, good. But I think there's uh, breadcrumbs and yeah. you could uh, grate the zucchini and an right. egg. Right. I think that, that would be really cool. Or just use zucchini. Right. Because I actually did make some zucchini and paired it with this mm -hmm. and had it on the side. I thought it was delicious. And plus oh. I love zucchini. And a lot of people don't know what to do with zucchini, uh -huh. I've found. Uh -huh. um, so I don't know if they're intimidated be, by it or, right. this or could, what. This How to a, cook it. Well, right. You can cook it so right. many different ways. Right. But for this, I would leave it like a, a chunk. Okay. Pretend it's a meatball. Right. Unless I was going uh, to, to test out that right. um, zucchini, zucchini ball. Well, maybe... Uh, if somebody gets a chance to try it out before we do, we could, they could let us know how it works out. I will. Maybe, I, I mean, maybe uh, one of the heart walkers will, will test it out. I don't think it is, it's, um, I think it, it could fall into, so I'm taking mine all out and I'm adding my onions. Okay. I think it would fall if within the AHA guidelines. Oh yeah. I, re I really do. So. Um, and also, I think it, the, the zucchini fits in with the flavor of Algeria as well as North mm -hmm. Africa right. and this whole, right. this, this, this region, so. And then there's still, it's still a balanced meal. I mean, it still has the, right. the, all the, the spices and onions and as well as the protein from the chickpeas, right? Exactly. So. Now, and you could also uh, pair this, I was thinking, with a, a beautiful, I think a lot of people think, oh, well, it should be on something, right? Wait a minute, it's, well, it's, it's on the meatballs, and the meatballs have the sauce with the chickpeas, and mm -hmm. so you could get a really nice, healthy, um, like brown rice or ancient grain mm -hmm. mixture that I hmm. thought would also be kind of nice. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Eat ancient grains, you said? Well, they, they sell some wonderful, you know, Frika, and uh, I have, I, I got a bag of it. There we go. So we got our onions. I think we can add a little bit. Now, look, now let's go low. Lower this. Go low, yeah. We don't need a high on the onions. Okay, all the way to the bottom? Or well, just like you want two some or color, three? Okay. I'll give you a little bit more. Thank you. Yeah, you go lower than me. Because I have the, the big burner. Right. Okay. And these, then, these cook so fast. Yeah, go low, low, low. Stir mine if you need it. I think we need our, our spices. All right. So I'm going to bring those over. Here are your spices and your, I'm going to put it right here. And your chickpeas and your garlic. Here's all your, all your goodies are here. Can you reach them? I'm yep. Sure yeah, I, I can. I can walk around and get them. Now I don't know if the order matters, but I'm gonna get mine. Get my goodies. Here we go. All right. I've been stirring your onions Thank you. a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. What is next? Cheat sheet. So okay, so we've got our onions. Once these are cooked, let's go ahead and add our garlic. All right. So did I bring you your garlic? Yeah, yours are a little bit high. Garlic, garlic, garlic. I have garlic here, yep. You have it already? Great. Yep. Um, we need tomato paste. Do, 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 do. Got more spices here. There we go. All right, you've got your okay. tomato paste. Tomato paste, garlic, paprika, cumin, and chickpeas. Super. Okay. And then we have our spatulas. So we're great. We're set. Your onions look good. Thank now you. go ahead and add your, your garlic. Add the garlic, okay. 
So this is the other half of the garlic. Bada bang, bada bang. No, not kidding. How much? My one's too low. And then I'm going to add my the dry spices because they're they're dry. They've been in a cupboard in the dark. So if we toast them, it wakes up the flavor a little bit. Okay. And here we have paprika. Of course, it says I think two teaspoons of paprika, but I have cheated a little bit and I have added one teaspoon of sweet paprika and one teaspoon of powdered harissa. Ah. So I'm not usually a huge fan okay. of, of blends, spice uh, blends, uh -huh. but this one has no salt. Uh, there you go. And it spices really, instead of salt. So that adds a little spice to the harissa. It, it, it does. I'll, I'll show you. The, it's a wonderful, I mean, it's, it's very traditional North African. So I've got, we've got the paprika, and now we've got the cumin again. All right. Let's get that in here. Get our cumin So our here. onions are wonderful. They're translucent, and I put the smell and the fragrance of the spices mm -hmm. are really, really Starting. coming into action, right? Oh, yeah. Now, so when you smell that, my garlic's cooked a little bit. Then I like to add my tomato paste. Okay. Because I think it tastes better when it's, of course, it's hard to get out of here. <laughs> I need a, a rubber spatula. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's okay. one. Here's yours. Helps Thank to get that out. Thank you. About two tablespoons of good old tomato paste. If you can find low sodium, that's good too. Wonderful. Stir that up. It always helps to cook your tomato paste a little bit. Okay. Again, we're just bringing out more flavor. More flavor. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Kind of caramelizes a little bit. Mm hmm. There we go. Smells good. Okay, I can turn that up a little bit. Wow, so the, these onions have a lot of flavor to them. It smells the, the really pepper. good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Mmm. I'll, I'll tell you, um, it's in my harissa. Uh-huh. So you said it's in classic North African? It's classic. Um, the, the brand I am uh -huh. used to is a Tunisian brand. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add these in now. Chickpeas, okay. Chickpeas. Remember when I fell in love with chickpeas? It was probably uh -huh. in part due to Harissa. Uh huh. Um, well, it, we, yeah, it we wasn't used at to, the salad bar. <laughs> <laughs> not at the salad bar. It's just a wonderful combination. Uh -huh. um, orig the original stuff in a can, I'm sure it has a lot of sodium in it, but it is hot. Um, but they have, you can get it now in the United States in, a, mm -hmm. in little in jars, but it's not the same as the the North Af African stuff out of it. Uh -huh. That is, it's hot. My brother used to show off and take a teaspoon of it, you know, to show how macho he was when, uh -huh. we, when we were little. Do you, so do you use chickpeas in a lot of your recipes? I mean, they have so many uses, huh? I yeah. have started yeah. using yeah. them more. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to find a good yeah. I make hummus a lot. Hummus a lot, at yeah. Home. It's so yeah. easy. Yep. Um, and then I do a lot of uh, chana masala, a lot of uh, Indian mm -hmm. cuisine. So look, we've got all this juice. Let's go ahead and add these meatballs back in. Adding the meatballs back I don't in. think okay. we, I'm going to look at my cheat sheet, make sure we haven't missed anything. Okay. So we got all of this back, and now we're going to add some water. I'm so excited that I'm, you can try this. A little bit of water. And we're just going to let this. They said just until enough till it's covered. OK. And that's not exactly covered. And we can't taste it yet because our meatballs weren't cooked all the way through, right? Right. But I really want to. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling I so really good. want to. Let's go ahead and try to bring this up to a boil. Or simmer. We don't want to 
boil it All too right, much. All right, so I'm gonna turn my heat up now. Yep, oh yeah, crank it up, crank it up. And really, at this point, we're just cooking the, the meat, the balls. Mm -hmm. The meat balls, I don't know how to do an Algerian <laughs> accent, sorry. I guess it would be kind of French. Uh-huh. They speak French in Algeria, or no? Is it? I know they do in Tunisia. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they do in, in, in Algeria. Not, yeah. Look how good that burner is, man. Eh? It's getting okay, it hot. Okay, you need some more nice water, or? Yeah, I can add some I more think, water. Do, 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 do. Okay, barely cover, simmer, 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 until cooked all the way through. Now, and then they, they say you can take the meatballs out again and mash up the, the chickpeas a little bit if you like to kind of thicken, make the sauce kind of thicker. Oh, okay. I didn't, didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you like the chickpeas to stay I kind of do. Yeah. I kind of do. Yeah. But, you know. Now, can you also just let it evaporate a bit more too and that'll make it it's, a little thicker? Exactly. It, it's, it, it's, I think at this point, it's however yeah. You want it. Liquidy, yeah. you want it. Yeah. So, and I, if you're serving it just like this, it might help if it's a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. um, if you're serving it on a bed of the you know, ancient grains and maybe you want a little bit more juicy juice. Mm -hmm. But. Um, Can experiment. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely, you know, a side of the, the zucchini would be really nice or like I said before, mm -hmm the zucchini in it in lieu of, uh -huh. you know, making it vegetarian. And even you could use carrots too. I think both of those would still be aligned with that uh -huh. flavor profile. Uh -huh. But as long as you have the cumin and the, the turmeric, the echo way, turmeric, <laughs> um, and then the harissa. Oh, grab, the, grab uh -huh. the box of harissa. Just cover up the label. It's right here. Okay, I won't be able to see. Let's see what it says. We're not making any product endorsements no here, no but um you, uh, uh -huh. you get to peek uh -huh. it says arisa okay chili peppers paprika cumin, cumin coriander, coriander hmm. lemon lemon garlic and caraway uh -huh. so and i know lemon is not not in the recipe but smell that mm. no salt Ooh. No salt. That's no nice salt. Mix. That's so, our that's so, our big message. Right. This is this is winning. Spices <laughs> in, instead of salt. No. It, yeah. And and then at the end, you know, we've got the the wonderful um, slivers of almonds, mm -hmm. which add, also add another whole like major health right. impact. Almonds are super yep. super delicious. We don't have a lot of almonds today. Apparently, uh, there was a shortage on shortage on, on slivered almonds, uh, but uh -huh. who, who knew? But, um, and then of course, I am the queen of squirt of lemon. Uh -huh. So I think every dish can completely benefit by a little, with a little lemon zest or uh -huh. a little squirt. Uh -huh. Again, it just sort of. Yeah, you, it, you add that during the cooking no, no, or at the no, end, no, no. at the end. Like right before we Right before you, take you eat a, it, yeah. I want you, you'll take uh -huh. a bite out of it uh -huh. and then take a bite out of it with just a little bit of lemon on it Compare and see it, the yeah. difference. Yeah. It's just kind of brightens everything up. Okay, I'm gonna turn you down a little bit. Thank you, thank you, Chef. It brightens everything up. So we can let this simmer for a minute or two. Okay. And maybe we get our get our lemon ready. So how do you how do you decide that it's done? What do you look for? I I want it to simmer. Well, mm -hmm. it, we need to cook. Yeah. We need to make sure that our meat, the balls, are cooked yeah. all the way through. Right. Um, so I mean, there's a couple ways of, of testing that. Mm -hmm. You definitely want, we don't want medium rare right. turkey. Right. So it has to be at 165 degrees. Yeah. Um, and I will allow you to open up a meatball. Uh -huh. It's not like cutting yeah. up on a steak. Like, right. Absolutely <laughs> not allow that. Yeah. Um, it, it must rest. But you, you'll be able to tell if the meatballs are cooked all the way through. So that's the most important thing mm -hmm. is the doneness of your meatballs. Then, in terms of the consistency, it's like I said. If you wanted it thicker, mm -hmm. you could mash, start mashing up some of the some of the chickpeas, and that you know that that will help thicken it a little bit. Okay. But I kind of liked it. 
And if it gets too thick, you can always add some more water. Mm -hmm. That was mm -hmm. the other thing I thought was interesting. We're not using chicken stock in this recipe. Right. We're using water. Right. So that's, I thought was unusual. Mm -hmm. So we're really cutting out some fat there. We're cutting out, and it doesn't need it. Yeah. There's, because so there's so much flavor coming are, in, yeah, in yeah. everything else that we've done. Yeah. So let me turn this down. I'm gonna turn you down. Let's Thank just you. let this Simmer cook for, for a, a minute or two. Okay. And then let's get back over here. I All think right. we need to finish cutting up um, our parsley. It actually did say to add a lot of a, parsley. A lot of parsley, okay. But uh, it's up to you um, if you wanna yeah, maybe finish chop, pop, chopping up that little that little pile. Thank you, okay. my dear. And there was something else. Yes. I think we should maybe have a little lemon zest ready. What do you think? Agreed. Agreed. So I didn't think about that earlier. Um, so I had the lemons. But I think a zester is going to come flying over to me very shortly. I do like to roll this up. The, and the recipe actually calls for a whole head of parsley. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow, so, right? So it's a whole bunch of parsley. Is this a head right here? Yeah, this is that more, is, that uh, is a, a whole, that might be a little bit a more, little than, bit more, than, more, than, more but, than one. Yeah. But that's a lot of parsley, right? Yeah. So here we go. But, Let's get, let's get a little zest. Got to put a little zest in our life because there's amazing, here you go, you want that one? Thank That's you. That's close, that's a nice big one, right? Yeah. The, the skin of the lemon has all kinds of wonderful anti antioxidants, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you might as well use it. And instead of just, you know, using what's inside of it, Use the outside too, so make sure it's washed. And it also looks really pretty sprinkled on top of this dish. Um, this has two sides, so mm -hmm. depending on, let me see what that happens, make sure it's not too dull. Depending on how big you want it, mm -hmm. that's, that's rather large, which is, it's nice, you're gonna be able to see that. Um, or you could do it really small. So just do it very gently. Okay. And I roll it as I, Putting it down. So you're. So I'm rolling, and I'm not going over the same spot twice. Okay. And then just bang it a little bit. So pushing bang, bang, bang. and rolling. There we go. Yeah. Rolling. Boy, was I in heaven when they came out with these. It used to be really hard to find. I'd have to actually go to the the uh, hardware store mm -hmm. for these back in the day. <laughs> Way back in the day. So we could just put that aside. That's ready. Maybe cut a little couple wedges okay. here. Got some lemon. That banging helps get it all off. Yes, now. and really try not to use the back of your your, your knife. That um, always I'd rather I'd rather hear the banging than the scraping of the of the knife. Bang, bang, bang. So there's a little lemon. We got a little lemon zest. We actually have a, enough parsley for now if we want any more. Mm -hmm. That's great. So I just moved it all along to the, on the side. Hey, okay. we can put, you can put some in here. There you go. There we go. We've got all these little containers. There we go. Put our lemon zest in there. Got our parsley. Right. Now, depending on how, um, let me help you clean up your mess over here. <laughs> All right, clean, clean, clean this up. Clean pipe cup. Thank there you, you go. Chef. You're welcome. And then I need to slice up some uh, lemons. Well, yeah. I mean, um, so you're going to squeeze those. So you on, have an old zest. Let me get rid of that. Thank um, you. Thank you. Okay. So you see, I actually uh, brought the grains out for you. Those are the yeah, ancient grains? Yeah, if, if you wanted to serve it with the, mm -hmm. the, the ancient grains, mm -hmm. it's uh, seven whole grains. So yeah, let's not waste our lemon. And we could either serve our dish, our turkeys, on a nice big platter like this, or we could serve it in something like this. 
which is very, very classic. Now let's take a peek. Take a peek. Mix it around. All right, some. check it out. So this has certainly thickened up a little bit, right? Oh yeah. At this point, I'm, I would almost guarantee that the meatballs are cooked, but let's so to be on the safest side, mm -hmm. look at your biggest one. Okay. Where's the, get the, bi the biggest, the, the big one, daddy. The one, yeah, the one that's the sort biggest, of sticking out, out of the water the most. And let's just sort of cut it in half. Okay. With your spoon. And now you can see. Maybe you can see. I can't because I don't have my glasses on now. <laughs> Yeah, it looks, it it, looks... That looks completely cooked, yeah, right? no pink in there. No it pink, looks nice. no pink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here's, oh, wow. here's mine there. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm, I'm just going to have to finish eating this. That's perfect. Did you cut one of yours open? Yeah. Oh, All right. It's looking good. Well, so they're done. This is good. And I might just go ahead and stop cooking mine. I think as it sits. You want yours thicker or are you good? Uh, maybe I'll make it a little thicker. Okay. Yeah. You want to mash some of the, the chickpeas? I'll, t I'll try it out. So Why the not? The recipe says to take the, um, you can take out all the meatballs. If, so you, were, if you were to mash them, you want to give that, that a try? Let's yeah. try that for yours. So let's take out your meatballs. Put them in here. Okay. So just... And I'll help you. Boop, boop. The thick of the meatballs. I had a potato masher here somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I do not know where it is. I know there's one at home in the drawer. There's two. <laughs> <laughs> one even has a pink handle. There we go. So what would we what would you use at home if you don't have a potato masher? A fork. A fork. There a you. fork. Mm -hmm. A big fork. fork. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe, there we go. We can find a fork. We'll keep those there. That'll be fine. All right. Fork coming straight up. Jolly. See if that works. The, um, the, the spatula. To yeah, just sure. push down on them. Yeah, it's, that does work, yeah. Just need a little extra help. Mm -hmm. Give that a try. You can hold that and then I'll yeah. press down. Nice. Move it around. Good teamwork there. Yeah. yeah. So at least this way you can see what's, how it's going to happen. Maybe a little more? Yeah. All right. Move that around. Scrape those off. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, you held it down. Let me know. I'm, I'm slow. I'm slow, you know. There we go. You know, wake up. Squirrel. All right, so now we have a sticking it up a little bit more. That's nice. So, there you go. These are hard little uh, chickpeas. Mm hmm. Interesting. I thought usually they're softer. I mean, and they're already cooked, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, actually, you know, you don't even really need to soak chickpeas if you're not getting them out of a can. See, that's, that, that, you've got some good thickness there, right? Yeah. Yay. I just cook them straight. I don't soak them at all. Um, my chickpeas. There we go. Check that out. All right, so yours is a little thicker than mine. That's great. Mm -hmm. And now we can just pour the, um, I'm going to turn everything off. All right. Pour the, Pour it on top of your meatballs. Okay. Um, I'll put this over with your uh, spatula oh, here. Oh, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. Um, if you want to bring your bring your pan over here, you can. So we can do a little plating. Okay. All right. Bring this Third here. Aside. Yeah. Excellent. I can smell that lemon sure. zest over here. You want me to just go ahead and pour this on top of your meatballs? Sure. Voila. Voila. 
also have used a little bit of smoked paprika. Uh-huh. There's, I mean, there's some pretty amazing paprikas out there. And I have to use a, a rubber spatula, spoonula, whatever you want to call them, because we have to get yeah. all of that deliciousness You don't want to waste any of out. that. Yeah. All right, hot behind you. Okay. There's yours. Okay, there's your plate. Yeah, if you, well, no, you've got one too, okay. but, um, okay. you know, there's there's a couple little ways we could do it. We could also do it on here. Okay. Of course, it's brand new. You can see there's still a sticker on it. <laughs> maybe I'll get that off. Actually, maybe not. Not as easy as it? No. As it looked. Yeah. I love there these. There we go. And, and your pink fingernails are still intact. I know, in, I know. <laughs> I don't typically uh, do uh, pink fingernails, but uh, I did. Uh huh. So I didn't know if you wanted to try it with some of the ancient grains, or um, yeah, just put a good. little bit on here and okay. and call it a call it a day. Let's do it. Okay. Um, are we gonna try it together? I think. Um, so should you need I need a spoon? Yeah. Should I? There we go. All yeah. right, so we'll get. Well, I, I can I can do mine. Oh no, I had another. So bowl. let's see. Ah, I see what I did. Okay, I have this bowl. I actually, when I cooked this before, I got a nice photograph of it. So we, you're gonna put on I some put, of the. I need to borrow that. Sorry. Okay. Put the back end. You do. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, well, okay. this serves four. Yeah. So you can really, you know, have a lot more and you don't even have to have any of the the, the ancient grains on it. The ancient Actually, grains, you just kind of mix in with it or you put it on the bottom? I was just gonna serve you, it on the side On here. the side, right oh, there. Oh yeah, no, no, that's, just, that's your side. All right. That's your side gig. Throw a little parsley on top. Absolutely, a lot of parsley. <laughs> Okay. A little, help. little lemon zest on top. Absolutely. There we go. Okay. So this is one way of doing it. So this is a little bit juicy, which is fine. That's how I like it. And now you get some of these too. Some almond so, slices. Absolutely. So we've got parsley, parsley, we've got lemon zest, more parsley. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, awesome. Cool. cool in there, but oh yeah, and then I gotta have some of these. Look at your and serving <laughs> versus mine. <laughs> this is my plate. <laughs> And this is his place. I'll, I'll probably go back for seconds. Oh, uh, now we probably should have toasted our um, our almonds, which you know, just a dry yeah. toast in yeah. a pan. Right. Um, so forgive me, if those are not those are not toasted. Oh, and we did have some forks because I did want you to taste it. So I don't and, have any ancient grains on mine. Okay. Okay, you're so not an ancient grains not, lover. I, you know, I'm trying to hold back on the ancient grains. <laughs> okay for the day. Thank you, darling. Stay and so are you going to squeeze some lemon on yours? Oh, or, absolutely. Or we're well, gonna you have, remember, you have to taste it first. First without, and then we're going to I know that's cold, so uh -huh. go for the warm first. Okay. All um, right. A little more of this. Tell me what you think. Take a little taste. Before the lemon, you have your lemons, right? I do. Okay. I have a lemon. Oh, Before that the... smells good. Oh, the zest smells really mm, good. It smells really good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. It's so good without the extra lemon. It's hard to imagine it getting any better, but we'll give it a try. Actually, no, yeah. you're, 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 you're right. I'm thinking, huh? well, you know, the zest. Did you get a bite with zest? I did. That's why. So just, just this is just bit. my addition. Yeah. I just like special I chef just like Stephanie. It. Yeah, that you know, the stuff that's not in the recipe, you have to you can make it you your have own. To cook with me, but the crunch of the almonds also mm. is really nice. There we go. How about that? Hmm. Yeah, that lemon did add another dimension. It's good. I know, I it, know. It, but it doesn't. 
I mean, you can go either way. Mm -hmm. I'm just a lemon. Either way, yeah. I'm a lemon head. This is delicious. And I also like things spicy, so I would, I kind of like, mm -hmm. would, would kick it up, up a notch a little bit. Yeah. yeah, this is not particularly spicy. This is not, I mean, this has wonderful flavor. Flavor, a lot of flavor. A lot of but flavor, not, but not... it doesn't have the, we don't have a very good word for it. It's not picante, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, it's not ha ha ha, cooking hot, no, whatever. It's just a um, little bit of maybe hot paprika. Uh huh. I don't know. I, I love a hot paprika. It's fabulous. So we could have added a little bit of that. Uh -huh. No names. A lot of people don't even know there's hot paprika that exists out there. Mm -hmm. If it if it doesn't say, you know, if it's anything on it, then it's sweet. So mm -hmm. if it's hot, it'll definitely say hot paprika. Uh -huh. So that would be a nice a nice heat. You want you want to bring up the spice? You want to try some? <laughs> I haven't opened up this one yet. Sure. I love how adventurous you are. So you're gonna take another bite with the hot paprika. You yeah. Go, you go. Mix you it go, in. You go, Doc. I love it. So should it, the big question though, should I add more lemon or no? No, no. you've no. got some well, lemon yeah. zest in here. I we think you're good. One, you gave it a good a squirt. Yeah. Um, the only other thing you need to be careful with when you're at home and you are adding your hot sauce, is some of them have higher sodium contents than others. So go for one that has lower sodium They're, they are out mm -hmm. there you only need a little bit but mm -hmm. this works too it was good it was good it's still not super still spicy not, well hot yeah. paprika is not yeah. that spicy but um, yeah but some of those peppers we cooked with last time some of those oh, chili yeah. peppers oh yeah <laughs> some, some, are, some chipotle yeah. those oh, yeah. are spicy yeah that, that'll uh that'll knock it up a notch for See. sure so it's a little bit of a mess on set today <laughs> <laughs> Yours is looking pretty nice there. Nice presentation. I, um, I, I know I have a I have a good a good picture of this. I I because I've I've been making it, and I want everybody else to make it out there. Gotcha. I hope I hope it becomes one of your yeah your go tos your right. regular because really it was easy and and we even made it easier. Yeah, we made it easier. You streamlined it there with the when we added the onions later. Right. And so forth. Yeah, I think that was yeah. that was fine. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, but uh, Bonnie. Oh. But yeah, I think it worked out beautiful. And yeah. really, without all the blah, 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 this would have been a very quick recipe. Yeah, yeah, we always, once we get chatting I together. <laughs> so it's great to be back in the kitchen with you. I'm excited it's, to see you at Heart Walk and see so many folks at Heart Walk where we're gonna be doing some more sim I'm, simple I'm cooking delighted there. Yeah. Uh, to have you here, Seth. Yeah. It's been a lot of, it's always a lot of fun cooking with yeah. you. And now you've got some dinner to take yeah. home. Yeah. Um, healthy one and hopefully um, get your son starting yeah. to eat some yeah. of these ingredients yeah. so right. the you gotta, spices you got to start yeah. them young yeah yeah um, that's what they say exactly of course it's easier said it, than done <laughs> right <laughs> but give them something to do the toy to use or you yeah. the last time you had talked about how just sort of like breaking certain the, the, vegetables. Yeah, like or asparagus spar or something. Right, yeah. the asparagus or, yeah, yeah it's make and it make it fun. Get yeah. them to learn, right. teach them how to use a peeler. Right, right. That, you know, they've got to learn. It's, it's, it's the best, the best he, thing. He watched us last time through the video, nice. you know, so he that was, was uh, so cool. he, he, he liked it. He's in, he, he was well, interested. he'll be able to watch, yeah. watch now, you next, again. He'll, he'll be, be able to watch you and, and be with us. He'll be live. And he'll already know me a little yeah. bit. Right. And you've seen me on camera. So. Exactly. Very excited. I'm, yeah. And I'm really excited uh, to have this opportunity. Thank um, you for having with me. With you. Chef. Chef Stephanie, thank you. Thank you all for joining us. Um, and have a wonderful day. And come to the Heart Walk. <laughs> See you at the Heart Walk. <laughs> You're going to be there. <laughs> October 8th. <laughs> October 8th. <laughs>